Hello student, today we are going to learn some multiple choice questions with answer and reasons on simple stress and strain part 1. Question number 1, which type of stress results from forces that act parallel to the surface of a material? Option A normal stress, option B shear stress, option C tensile stress, option D compressive stress. Correct answer is B shear stress. Shear stress occurs when forces act parallel to the surface. Generally lower surface are fixed, uppermost circle are moved. Question number 2. If a material is under tensile stress, what is happening to its length? A. It is increasing. B. It is decreasing. C. It remains the same. D. It is increasing and then decreasing. Answer. Correct answer A. It is increasing. Reason. Tensile stress pull tane the material causing to the stretch and increase in length. Okay. Question number 3. What is the unit of stress in the international system of unit, SI unit? Option A, Newton. Option B, Pascal. Option C, Joule. Option D, Meter. Correct answer is B, Pascal, PA. Reason stress is measured in pascal where 1 pascal equal to 1 newton per square meter question number 4 what does strain measure in a material option a the force applied option b the deformation relative to the original size option c the energy store option d the temperature change Correct answer is B, the deformation relative to the original size. Reason, strain is defined as the deformation that means change in length divided by the original length. Question number 5, which of the following is the correct formula for strain eta? Option A, eta equal to del L by L0. Option B, eta equal to F by A. Option C, eta equal to L0 by del L. Option D, eta equal to A by F. Correct answer is A, eta equal to del L increase in length by L0 means original length. This in strain is calculated as the change in length divided by the original length. Question number 6. What type of stress is caused by force pushing towards each other? A. Shear stress. B. Tensile stress. C. Compressive stress. D. Bending stress. Correct answer is C. Compressive stress. Reason. Compressive stress occur when forces push towards each other. Compressing the material. Okay. In which type of material would you expect to find a high Young modulus? A. Rubber B. Steel C. Foam D. Wood Correct answer is B. Steel Reason Steel has a high Young modulus indicating it is very stiff compared to other material like rubber or foam. Question number 8. When a material is subjected to shear stress, what kind of deformation does it undergo? Option A, change in length. Option B, change in volume. Option C, change in shape without a change in volume. Option D, change in temperature. Correct answer is C, change in shape without a change in volume. Reason, shear stress 
causes a change in shape that means sliding or distortion but does not typically change the volume question number 9 what is the relationship between stress and strain in the elastic region of a material option a non-linear option b exponential option c linear option d inverse correct answer is c linear reason in the elastic region stress and strain are linearly related according to hooke's law question number 10 hooke's law is applicable within which region of a materials deformation option a plastic region option b elastic region option c beetle region option d visco elastic region correct answer is b elastic region reason hooke's law apply to the elastic region where the material return to its original shape after the load is removed after the load is withdrawn now question number 11 what is the term for the point at which a material transition from elastic to plastic deformation option a yield point option b fracture point option c elastic limit option d ultimate strength correct answer is a yield point reason the yield point is where a material begins to deform plastically and will not return to its original shape question number 12 what does the term plastic deformation refer to option a deformation that is reversible option b deformation that occurs under high temperature option c permanent deformation after the yield point is exit option d deformation due to thermal expansion correct answer is c permanent deformation after the yield point is exit reason plastic deformation is permanent and occurs once the yield point of the material is question number 13 what is the typical behavior of a material under cyclic loading that means one time loading upward one time loading downward loading and unloading option a it undergoes permanent deformation immediately option b it shows the same stress strain relationship in both loading and unloading option c it can suffer from fatigue and failure over time even if stresses are below the materials yield strength option d it always fail at the first cycle of loading correct answer is c it can suffer from fatigue and failure over the time even if stresses are below the materials yield strength reason cyclic loading can cause fatigue loading to failure over time even if individual individual stress are below the yield strength question number 14 what is the effect of increasing the cross-sectional area of a material while keeping the force constant? A. Stress increases. B. Stress decreases. C. Strain increases. D. Young modulus increases. Correct answer B. Stress decreases. Reason stress is inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area. So, increasing the area decreasing the stress now question number 15 what happened to the tensile stress if the applied force on a material is double while keeping the cross-sectional area the same okay option a tensile stress is half option b tensile stress remain the same option c tensile stress is double 
ऑप्शन डी टेंसाइज स्टेज इज ऑप्शन सी करेक्ट आंसर करेक्ट आंसर इज सी टेंसाइज स्टेज इज डबल रीजन टेंसाइज स्टेज इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द अप्लाइड फोर्स सो डबलिंग द फोर्स विल डबल द टेंसाइज स्टेज क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 what type of stress is experienced by a material subjected to a pulling force a compressive stress b shear stress c tensile stress d bending stress correct answer is c tensile stress reason tensile stress occurs when a material is subjected to a pulling force that stretch is okay now question number 17 what does shear stress act parallel to option a the surface of the material option b the direction of force option c the length of the material option d the depth of the material correct answer is a the surface of the material reason shear stress act parallel to the surface or cross section of the material क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 व्हिच फार्मूला रिप्रेजेंट शेयर स्टेन गामा ए गामा इक्वल टू डेल एल बाय एल 0 बी गामा इक्वल टू डेल एक्स बाय एल सी गामा इक्वल टू एफ बाय ए डी गामा इक्वल टू ए बाय एफ करेक्ट आंसर गामा इक्वल टू डेल एक्स बाय एल रीजन शेयर स्टेन इज द रेशियो ऑफ द डिस्प्लेसमेंट पैरेलल टू द फोर्स to the original length of the material question number 19 in the context of stress strain curve what does the term ultimate tensile strain refer to option a the stress at which the a material begins to deform plastically option b the maximum stress a material can withstand before failure option c the stress at which a material fracture option d the point at which the material return to its original shape correct answer is b the maximum stress a material can withstand before failure reason ultimate tensile strain is the highest stress a material can meet before it fail okay next question number 20 what is the significance of young modulus e in material science option a it measures the material's resistance to shear stress option b it indicates the material's ability to withstand compressive stress option c it measures the material's stiffness or rigidity option d it represents the material's ductility correct answer is c it measures the material's stiffness or rigidity reason young modulus qualified how much a material deform under stress indicating its stiffness okay 